Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a plain square downspout start to finish. Let's get going. First thing we gotta do is measure the distance from the wall to the back of the outlet. We put a slight slope on it and here you can see 18 inches. Do you see that? Can you see 18? Can you zoom in? All right, let's go back to the truck and make 18 inches. You're filming right, me. So we're back at the truck. We have our square down spout. I love square down spouts. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down five inches. We're gonna cut across, cut across all the way. We're gonna do inch minus one, inch and a half minus one. The top is always smaller than the bottom. We're gonna draw our line. We're gonna cut the downspout. Today we're using a, a lazy bandsaw, electric. I don't know if you call it lazy, but it's professional. Here we go. Just like that, we have our cut. You wanna make sure you don't cut into the face because it's gonna be exposed. Let's go into the sunlight so you can see how I'm cutting. I'm just gonna start right here. And I'm gonna cut across. I'm gonna flip around because I gotta keep cutting this way. You wanna make sure your cuts are nice and straight. There you have it. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some glue. Because if you don't put glue, it's gonna leak. So here we go. Just in the corners, we're gonna put a little bit of glue. We're gonna fold this by pinching right here and we're gonna fold it in. So the water is gonna drip right here. If we had no glue, it would leak. Next, we have a 1 8 bit. We're gonna pre drill. We have an automatic pop rivet gun. It's not really automatic because you have to use it and you have to press the buttons, you have to feed it. So it's not really automatic, but we have pop rivets. We're gonna pop rivet this right there. It makes a nice clean. Nice clean addition. Ooh, I just got this dirty. Hey, don't worry. Goo gone. They're not paying me to advertise, but look, you spray it on and the glue comes off. Oh, never mind. It actually made it worse. Let's see. Okay, fair enough. We're going to add another one here. So, yeah. Goo gone. It's it's really good. We're gonna put one more. And we're gonna feed our automatic pop rivet. It's not really automatic. We're gonna put another pop rivet right there. Pop rivets are nice because there's no like screws on the inside, nothing to get debris caught on. All right, so now the important part. Do you guys remember we measured 18 inches? We're gonna measure from the back side right here because that's our back of the outlet. We're gonna go here. We're gonna measure 18 right there. Now we're gonna cut the face after we make our lines. We're gonna cut the face. How much was the measurement for the bottom? Inch and a half minus one. Top is smaller, H minus one. You guys can cut this straight across. I like to leave a little tab here. I'll show you why. Let's do another cut with our automatic bend saw. It's not really automatic because you have to hold it and press the button and charge the battery. But we're gonna continue cutting it. This is unedited video. Just videos stuck together, start to finish. So I'm just making a little tab that I, that I left. I'm gonna hop around this side so you can see better. So we basically opened up the downspout. We're gonna take this bender. This is an extra step it's not really necessary, but I'm just showing it 
for fun. We're gonna put some glue in here as well. We wanna make sure nothing gets a chance to leak. I know you guys are gonna say, hey Tony, why are you gluing this stuff? Waste. If you glue it, you squish it, it will never come apart. It'll never leak. I shouldn't say never, because that building over there that we did a couple of months ago and it's three hours from our house, that that spot leaked. But uh, we have friends in, in uh, good places and they were able to come out and figure that out. We're gonna load the automatic rivet gun. It's not really automatic. And just like that. We're gonna preload it one more time. We're almost done. Hang in there. We're gonna go test fit this downspout. And you wanna make sure you're pressing down so there's no gaps. And last rivet. Oh, there we go. Clean. I'm gonna just scrape that old. Okay, let's go test it. All right, here we go. Let's walk over here. Should I, should I run? No, walk. A little tab right there because it makes the downspout really strong. Okay, here we go. And there it is. A plain square downspout start to finish. All right, so here's our downspout. We're gonna test fit it. And it's a beautiful fit. And that's how you do a plain square downspout. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. God bless. Seven downspouts to go. And it's four o'clock. We've been up since seven, came here at eight. So definitely, it's basically two houses, one, two. So this is huge. We got uh, uh, five guys here, and not not the burgers and fries, but five experts. And we're pulling the flash, and we're cutting the flashing, and uh, making it beautiful. Everything plain square on pop rivets. A lot of work.